Greetings YouTube, welcome back to the channel. To warn you, this is going to be one of the most dense videos I have ever recorded. It's going to cover a lot of information quickly, and so you might have to watch it at half speed. Sometimes people say I talk too slow and they have to watch me at twice speed. I, I, don't, I appreciate that you watch me regardless of what speed you watch me at. For those of you that keep track of my day-to-day -day habits in this game, I gave away my soul a long time ago in the arena but that is always why i have a fresh stash of units and i actually always have more units than you think because i have a reserve of arena crystals that i refuse to open until there's an emergency situation maybe it's a crazy thirty thousand unit offer maybe i just need more units for revives when i'm clearing special content but right now and i try to keep it at four thousand and then open everything above it Right now, on regular Arena Crystals, which I still think are the safest, and that's a whole other video in itself, safest bang for your buck, I have 4,825 of those unopened. So, that could be at least 10,000 units unopened. May not be, but it could be. So, with that being said, I'm able to clear all milestones of all the arenas in about a day. And less than that in terms of time. I have a strategy. It works really well. Now let's get a couple of obvious exceptions out of the way. My roster is crazy large because I've been playing this game for almost seven years. And so I have all the four stars, all the three stars, and a ton of five and six star champs that are ranked up. The second is that because I pour most of the money that I don't give Uncle Sam directly back into my channel... I am going on, and this year I will surpass $20,000 worth of purchases. That's crazy. Every car but one that I've owned costs well under that. But at the same time, I say the value of a purchase is dependent on how often you use it, and I often play this game more than I sleep at night. So I think the value is worth it, especially because it's able to give me more content and do what I love, which is a hobby of creating content for people all over the world. That is priceless, even if sometimes it costs a pretty penny to make so with that being said we are three and a half hours into day one of the arena i already have 919,000 in summoner trials 3.8 million that's right i'm less than 2 million away from completing all the six star basic arena milestones already and i am uh well on my way when these six star featured and that will be above 10.5 million by the time uh my six stars refresh tonight as long as i continue to do the pace that I do. I use zero refreshes. I use zero units in the arena ever. This is to maximize the units that I get to keep, and I don't think you need them if you have a big enough roster. Now, you'll see in the six star featured that I have all of my rank one six stars under 11,640 PI left. All of these champs. I will use in arena teams. And I will say the quick fill arena button has been fantastic for this. I save my rank one six stars after I get past a win streak of 15, but certainly safely a win streak of 20. That means that I have a unique strategy to get to this point. I always use my five stars under 6,000 PI to get to a win streak of five in both the six star basic and six star featured arenas. This makes it pretty safe for me to get to a win streak of five without using up some of my better champions. Once I get to a win streak of five, this is where I get to really utilize my deep roster of rank five, five stars and rank two and above six stars. If it's the six star featured, which unless there's an emergency and I'm grinding for a six star basic champ, which almost never happens, I only use six stars in the six star featured arena because they're worth so much more points. Remember six stars are worth the same amount of points as five stars if they're the same PI at least in the six star basic. So you're really wasting your six stars there, especially for the much longer than five star refresh time. So six stars, uh, I use my best six stars, my, my one rank four six star, which is Corvus and then my rank threes for uh, win streaks of six to 15. And believe it or not, I have enough six stars that are rank three and above and maybe a couple rank twos, uh, to get me easily to a win streak of 15, which is really where 
the infinite streak allows you to continue and use these rank one six stars and not get death matches. So that's the strategy. I don't use any 565 five stars in the six star feature. I save that for the six star basic. Now in the six star basic, speaking of which, once I get to a uh, win streak of five, I use all my 565s and you can see I've used uh, all of them, including uh, the lowest PI, which is the, well, I guess Darkhawk and Gating 29 are technically rank four, but uh, Wolverine and Star Lord are certainly rank five. I use all of them once I get to a win streak of five, and I go all the way down to 7,000 PI. Juggernaut's kind of the cutoff for me in terms of this arena. I could risk it and do two or three more arena teams, but I've started to see lately death matches trigger at around this moment. And if I'm fighting with Ebony Coleslaw, Gambit, and Stealth Spidey, and a death match of crazy high PI triggers. I might win it, I might not, but either way, it's going to be very stressful to take 7,000 rated Juggernaut against a 25,000 rated Korg. So screw that, I'll just wait for my five stars to refresh tonight and easily get those milestones. By the end of the day, I will have uh, over six million points in the six star basic arena just for my five stars on day one. Again, by the end of the day, I'll have over, uh, well, really, when the six stars refresh over 12 million points, I'll have all the six star featured milestones before I go to bed, really, in the first 12 hours. And then sometimes I'll get all the 4.4 uh, 4 million milestones done in the summoner trials, but usually it's between three and four if I'm not totally pushing myself, which I'm cooking my uh, locally famous homemade taco shells for uh, one of my classes today, a fantastic senior strategic communication, social media production class that I teach. So I'll be stepping away from the game, obviously, to cook some tacos with my church mom. I'm really excited about that. Uh, so you will see that I go into about 6,000 PI for the Summoner Trials, which if you can only do one arena, as always, the Summoner Trials is the best bang for your buck. I only use arena boosts when I'm in a crunch. Otherwise, I save them up. And you'll notice that... If you especially use that quick fill option, which sometimes I do, uh, synergy teams, sometimes I don't, you can easily get through all of your four stars in, I don't know, 45 minutes? At least all your rank five four stars. When in doubt, if you don't know what to do and you've got uh, items in your overflow to rank up for level up, rank max rank your four stars. They're always going to come in handy for the uh, four star arena, and it's really impossible to get a crazy death match in the Summoner Trials like you can easily in the six star basic and the six star featured. And those of you watching that are uncollected or even Cavalier, your roster isn't that large. And so you're not gonna be able to easily get to four million points in the basic or 12 million points in the featured, but you can really knock out 4.4 uh, million points in the uh, four star and three star Summoner Trials arena. When you are in a time crunch, the best bang for your buck combined with that Summoner Trials arena is to do this, to go into all the way down that last crystal. Arena boost crystals, one, but great arena boost crystals, which I now have over 500 of. These things can give you so many, especially three times three star boosts. And yes, three stars are worth more at three times points than four stars are normally. So three stars are kind of the uh, the hidden secret sauce of the Summoner Trials Arena. And for those of you who are uncollected and maybe don't have a lot of four stars ranked up, three stars can get the job done, especially once you get to a win streak of five for that max multiplier and you combine that with the arena boosts. So uh, I'm able to get a ton of units. Obviously, if you're free to play, this is your best bet to play the game. But if you're a low spender, maybe you only purchase the Black ISO store every week. Maybe you, uh, or I should say every month, Maybe you, you don't even have the ability to do that. Maybe you can just spend, I don't know, let's say 20 bucks a year. Some people are like that. Uh, you want to maximize your chance to get, I, I say it free, you know, it's nothing in life's truly free because you're giving your time and, and when you get to a certain age, hopefully, your time will actually be the most valuable thing that you have, which is why offers are tempting because it might take you a day to grind the same thing in the arena that you could buy for, say, $30 in the unit store. And statistically speaking, it is a better value for your money to purchase using money than it is to give 12 hours of your time. 
Uh, so, there you have it. My goal is to keep this video under 10 minutes, and we are about there. So let's uh, end it here. Thank you to those of you who requested this video. I finally made it possible. I kept my word. That's what life's all about.